She said hi. Editing Christina here, or voiceover editing Christina here. So initially, I didn't know what I was going to do with the finale, so I decided to put it into two parts. This being part one, <laughs> as is named. I put a lot of work into this, so I hope you guys really enjoy it. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you get notified when part two goes up. And other than that, I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this. It really does mean a lot. So, enjoy. It is time for the season finale of Stranger Things. <sighs> Let's do this. Good news, my friends! Katinka feeling better. Shall we give her another try? Why not? <laughs> Asshole. This guy. Девушка моя. The hell do you think you're doing? Get your hands off me, potato head. You're trying to break her, aren't you? Get us captured again so you can get your reward, that it? I know that sound is not good. On contrary, those noises you hear, that it's very good sign. Good sign, huh? Yeah. My women make noise when I please them. You don't know what that is like, I understand. It's gross. These are the smallest I could find. That's it for shirts. Oh, sorry. sorry. I'll go over here. Okay. okay. Oh, ow. Oh shit, did he get scratched by the Demogorgon? What did they do to you? Oh my god. No, it's not that bad. It's... You know, I needed to lose weight anyway. I mean, it's actually given me time to think, you know? about who I've been and what I've done. I never should have sent you that message. You didn't know what was gonna happen. I knew it would be dangerous. So did I. I made this choice. <laughs> Hulk Hogan shirt, I'm sorry. I just saw what it was. What you gonna do when Hulkamania run wild on you? And I would choose it again, even knowing everything that I know. Plus, you know, we do have that to get to remember. Remember? I've been dreaming about it. Oh, uh, yeah? I have it all planned out. Pray tell. I'm getting two orders of breadsticks. Two. Those things knock your socks off. Enzo put some spice on them. I don't know what it is, but it's good. And uh, I'm wavering on the main course between the veal and the lasagna. So you've been dreaming about breadsticks and lasagna? I've been on a diet of watery soup, moldy bread, and maggots. So yeah, I've been dreaming about breadsticks and lasagna. <laughs> so I've been dreaming about something else? Yeah, your date with her? There's wine. Oh, well, wine's good. I was thinking about a nice Chianti. Chianti. Chianti, right. And then there's dessert. I gotta have dessert. Gotta have dessert. And after that, use your imagination. Who needs imagination? Damn it. Remember, they're listening. I want to run through it one more time. All right, can I just pause for a second? Their outfits, <laughs> amazing. They're all dressed up, ready for war, and I'm loving it. So, just had to just put that in there. Phase one, we meet Erica at the playground. She'll signal Max and Lucas when we're ready. Phase two, Max baits Vecna. He'll go after her, which will put him in his trance. Phase three, he and Eddie draws a bat away. Four, 
we head into Vecna's hopefully newly bat free lair and flambe. Nobody moves on to the next phase until we've all copied. Nobody deviates from the plan, no matter what. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Be careful. Thanks, buddy. Here goes nothing. Does he want us to do a plot? All right. Let's go. Hey, guys, listen. If things here start to go south, I mean, at all, you abort, okay? Draw the attention of the bats, keep them busy for a minute or two, we'll take care of Vecna. Don't try to be cute or be a hero or something, okay? You guys are just- Decoys. Don't worry, you can be the hero, Steve. Absolutely, I mean, look at us. We are not heroes. You could be heroes, just for one day. Heroes! Just for one day. Hey, Steve. Make him pay. It doesn't have to be a one-way. I'll take one seat if you have it. One of our family members is really, really sick, and, and I don't know if she's gonna make it through tonight. There, there's no one there. This tomorrow. No, what? Th that's way too late. I know. I have a way. A way to protect Max from here. This is Max. When one attacks, he will be in her mind. But I can do that too. I went into Mama's mind, into Billy's. I can go into Max's. She can carry me to Vecna. I can piggyback. I can protect her from one, fight him from here. Wait, so you actually think this can work? A bathtub would help. Yeah, gotta be clean to enter the mind. What? Well, how much salt are we talking here, my dudes? Well, it depends on the size of the tub, but a lot. Does 600 pounds suffice? You know a place that has 600 pounds of salt? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. It'll work. What will work? I know of a magical place that has all you need, my brave little superpowered friend. That mind fight is on. on Moorhead? Yeah. What about it? Oh, come on. Stop it. Get some help. Who exactly was this mystery woman? I'm not sure. 
I mean, she wasn't exactly Miss Talkative. I spent five minutes trying to convince her I was real. I'm supposed to be dead, remember? I finally get around to half convincing her. She starts to open up a little bit, and then she says that she's... A friend of the doc's. Great, so am I. Now put me on the phone with him. I'm afraid the doc is indisposed. Indisposed? It gets worse. She said the doc's with the girl, and the girl went off to fight some evil in Hawkins. Then they all went off grid, the doc, the girl, everybody. The girl meaning L. Yeah, it has to be. This is your daughter, American? Mm hmm And they're not alone. Joyce's kids are with them. I think we need to consider the very real possibility that this mystery woman is, in fact, KGB. She's telling the truth. When we were in the lab, those particles we saw, they were alive. And if they're alive, that means a gate to open in Hawkins. Gate? What does this mean? It means we have to go home right now. What is taking so long? I thought you said he was close. Yeah, close to sabotaging us. If your kids are truly in some kind of imminent danger, even if we were to leave this very moment, we wouldn't make it in time. The earliest we get there is late tomorrow. No, we don't have to make it back. Not tonight. Whatever this evil is, we know it's connected to the hive mind. And now we know part of that hive mind is in Russia. So we don't need to get back to Hawkins to fight it. All we need to do is destroy those particles. And, and if we're lucky, it'll hurt it enough to give the kids the upper hand. We're talking about the particles inside the prison? The prison that we just narrowly escaped from? We broke out. We can break back in. Oh, yeah. This'll do. This'll do just fine. Trust me on this one, my dudes. Sure job, my dude. Whoa. Nice shirt, my dude. <laughs> Thanks, my dude. I would love to feed a fellow surfer boy, but kitchen closed like five minutes ago. See this weird girl behind me? She needs a tub with a bunch of salt so we can enhance her psychic powers so she can save the world from this super bad dude. But to make this salty tub, we require your kitchen. My dude, we're not asking you to help for free. You ever partake in purple palm tree delight? It'll make all your troubles float away like the seed pods of a dandelion in the wind. First ever mind fight held in a pizza dough freezer. Pretty rad, right? <laughs> Not bad. Now for the fun part. It's like she was destined for an alternate dimension. What do you say, Henderson? Are you ready for the most metal concert in the history of the world? Let's do it. I don't mean to freak anyone out, but I swear we've seen this tree before. That's impossible. That would suck, right? If that can destroy the world because because we got lost in the woods. We're not lost, Robin. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry about her. She's just stressed, you know, scared. Yeah, it's just. She's a super class. She did tell me that it took her longer to walk than most babies, so... When I was a baby, I actually crawled backwards. That is, of course, until I reversed my baby butt down a flight of stairs and thumped my head really good. Wow, that explains so much. The good news is, I get a big enough thump on my head, I can change, you know? I can learn. Listen, I guess what I'm trying to say in a really stupid roundabout way is, um... Just thank you. Thank me? Yeah. For... For giving my head the biggest thump of its life two years ago. I needed it. It's changed my life. I just wonder sometimes, you know, if some other girl would give me a proper thump before we met, would things have been different? You remember the dream I told you about? About the Winnebago, about seeing the country of my six small nuggets? It's all true. Every last word. But I left one part out. It's the most important part. You're there. You've always been there. Hey, guys. You guys, awesome news. Looks like we weren't going the wrong way after all. Come on, let's go. OK. Rob, slow down, Rob, Robin. <laughs> Where are the guards? Maybe 
this will be easier than we thought. I don't know, Jim. I got a bad feeling about this. I mean, like, what if the batteries run out on her Walkman? Like, something's gotta go wrong. She's been... Oh, fuck. Is Max gonna die? Honestly, is Max gonna die? Okay, the lovebirds have copied. Max is moving into phase two, distracting Vecna. So far, so smooth. Yeah, we're not even at the hard part yet. Take the bait, you son of a bitch. No more music. No more games. Do you hear me? What are you waiting for? Huh? What are you waiting for? Huh? Come on, do you want me or not? Almost done. Okay. Hopefully this blocks out any peripheral light or anything. And it's totally dark, which means it works. But, uh, you know, I just had one more important question. Do I look cool? I feel like I'm, I look really cool. Mike. Yeah? I... missed you. Yeah, I missed you too. You know, the last few days I've, I've had to think about the last talk we had. You know, before the cops and... The whole world went to shit and everything. I guess I just, I wanted to, to say that. Sir. Jesus. <laughs> Dude, this is pineapple. Try before you deny. Club. Mm -hmm. It's good? What do you mm -hmm. mean it's good? Really good. What? That's insane. That's blasphemous. Putting Did fruit on pizza? It? No, I didn't try it. Try no, it I obviously didn't try it. Do you remember that time you told me you had a Lego stuck up your nose? It was like a construction guy. You'd call him Larry. Yeah, vaguely. I remember it like it was yesterday. I feel like you used to come to me more for help or to just talk, you know? You know it feels like you don't do that anymore. Not like before. I know I've been distant. Or stone. But that has nothing to do with you. And that's me dealing with my own shit and hiding from my own problems. The truth is, I miss talking to you. I, like, really miss it. Right now, we need to talk more than ever. Because things are getting just complicated. Right? A lot more complicated than Legos up the nose, you know? I don't want you to forget that I'm here. And I'll always be here, no matter what. Because you're my brother. And I love you. And there is nothing in this world, okay? Absolutely nothing that will ever change that. Got that? Yeah. And, and I'm always here for you, too. I know you are. Come here. Come here. I don't know why I'm tearing up. It's gonna be okay. Yeah? I think it's ready. It's time.
I found them. They're carrying a light. A blue light. What are you waiting for, asshole? Huh? I'm right here. Okay, Elle, what's going on? It's not working. What? Well, what's not working? Max's plan. I know you can hear me. I know you can read my thoughts. Even the worst ones. Maybe mostly the worst ones. I thought about what you said. About how I wanted my brother to die. I thought that you were just trying to upset me. To anger me, but you weren't, were you? You were just telling the truth. Billy, he, he made my life living hell every chance he got. So sometimes when I would lie in bed at night, I would, I would pray. I would pray that something would happen to him, something awful. I knew that he drove too fast, so I would imagine him crashing, dying in that stupid car. I wanted him out of my life forever. I wanted him to disappear. The day that he died, I think that's why I just stood there, watched. Not because I was scared or weak, but because I didn't know if he deserved to be saved. And I've tried to forgive myself. I've tried, but can't. So now, now when I lie in bed at night, I pray that something will happen to me. That something terrible will happen to me. So that's why I'm here. Because I just want you to take me away. And I want you to make me disappear. Is that all true? I wanted Billy to die. Why are you talking? You ever have thoughts like that about me? No, Lucas, never. Normal people don't fantasize about killing other people, Max. You realize that, right? Lucas, please. I thought you were getting better, but you're not. Are you? You are sick. Lucas, you don't mean that. Maybe it is good he takes you. Maybe it's for the best. In fact, I'm glad it's going to be you. You will be the chosen one. The fourth, the final sacrifice. Nah, that's not him. It's going to be you that breaks the world. Max, can you hear me? He has her. Max. Where are you going? Don't be scared. Stay away from me. Max. Max. Don't you you ready. Ready, ready to disappear. I said stay away from me. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just hold on a little longer. Max? No, but she's here. She yes. has to be here. Okay, she's in. Initiate phase three. She's in. Move on to phase three. Copy that. Initiating phase three. Let's hope they hear this. Percy, this is from you. Yeah. I see her. 
Oh, Jason, you piece of shit. Get a little girl for her. Get off her. I told you, dumbasses, not to leave them there. Does this prison flow? Monster. Pranikul Laboratoria. The monster got in. The guards, they tried to stop it and fire shattered the tanks. The others came alive. Ask him about the particles. He says they call it the shadow. The shadow went into them. Into who? Answers your question, Jim. The shadow is in them. Oh, shit. That's not good. It's okay. You got this. weird in this memory any sign of vecna or, or the mind flare no everything is normal there is something that doesn't fit i think it is another memory One way to kill a vibe. Did to Chrissy. Jason, you need to go, man. Hey, can you hear me? Jason, don't touch her. I'm hey. not messing around. Hey. Please, just... Hey, hey, back up! Back up! No, 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 step. Is there anyone else in the house? No. Turn around. What? Turn around! Empty your pockets! Okay, okay. Now, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna back away to the top of the stairs there. 
Then I'll watch as you wake her up from whatever the hell this is. I can't. If I wake her too soon, we all die. You don't wake her up right now. You die, Sinclair. <sighs> Just you. Bro. <clears throat> this pit was designed to trap monsters. We get them in here, we lock it up, we rain fire from above, and we hope to hell that gives Al and the kids an upper hand. Okay, I'm with you. Except the whole uh, getting them all in here part. It's a hive mind. You draw one, you draw them all. You're the grill master. You're the jailer. You get that fence turned on, and once they're all in here, you lock that door behind them. What about you? I'm the bait. That one there, you see him in the laundry room? It's not far from here. He's all alone. He's our target. I'm gonna die someday. But not today. I still got a date to make, remember? I don't know, Hop. This time, it's gonna be different. It better be. I am not having another funeral. Oh, shit. I hope Joyce doesn't die. Fuck. Ever anybody could die. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Still an hour and 20 minutes left. Oh, my God. They're on the roof. Shit, 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 shit. They can't get in through there, can they? Robin, no. Stop me. 
I see them. I've seen your friends. But just as clearly as I see you, I can feel them. I can feel them. Dying. It's time. You can't see him. And Eddie Munson and his, his Hellfire Acolytes. Will you all summon this Vecna? No, no, you're, you're not listening. Just listen. There, there's no cult. There never was. Well, you expect me to believe that? It's the truth. Then why was Chrissy at Eddie's trailer? She was buying drugs. Liar! Chrissy, she was seeing things. Terrible things. Things Vecna forced her to see. She was scared. She just needed help. Ty, I know you're lying. If Chrissy was scared, if Chrissy wanted help, she would have come to me! Not Eddie! Not that freak, never! You're wrong about Eddie. No. But I was wrong about you. I never should have let you in the door. And I never should have knocked. I thought I wanted to be like you. Popular. Normal. But it turns out, normal's just a raging psychopath. You have five seconds to wake her up. Four. Three. is gonna do saw this coming ever since he said that that he runs that this is what's gonna happen <laughs> 